Okay, and free labor and free trade. Free labor, the idea that as a free person, the labor you give for someone else should be compensated. Uh, this is going to become um, a, one of the legacies of the revolutionary period. Indentured servitude, which we learn about in chapters two and three and four. Uh, indentured servants who represent about two thirds of white colonists, right? So when Jefferson on July 2nd, 1776, goes to the Continental Congress with a declaration of independence stating that all men are equal, it's not just a, a seen as a hypocrisy or, or con, uh, by us or contradiction, contradictory by us in relation to uh, his slave ownership and slavery generally and also the status of women. Uh, but there were you know, white men who were indentured servants who were not free. Two out of three. Two out of three white colonists were not free. So you have, and also the, 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 the fate of, of Indian nations on top of that. So women, slaves, Indians, and then also other white colonists. But indentured servitude, as, as Foner states, uh, by 1800, uh, indentured servitude had all but disappeared from the United States. Uh, so that middle ground, that, that middle area between slavery and freedom is gone. Uh, this, on the one hand, in the South, people become more reliant on slave labor, and not just because of the revolution. Uh, uh, they do so for more practical reasons, which I've, ta I've talked about in earlier chapters. Uh, but also, the, the removal of this middle area, um, some, some argue, allows for the highlighting of slavery as wrong, as a peculiar institution, as, is what it become, comes to be known, right? The abolition movement comes out of the revolution, and a lot of people argue that because in a, in, a, in a society that's more stratified like colonial America, where there's, there's free, there's semi-free indentured servants, there's slaves, there's all these different levels. But once you say all, all, we're all equal and that middle area disappears, then it, you're just, now you're just a society where people are either free or they're slaves, right? And so slavery starts to be viewed more as this sort of other, this a free trade this is one of the big arguments about um, independence, to, re to remove the, the navigation acts from the colonies, the idea that we have to, that England has a monopoly on trade, that what comes into the colonies is from England, what comes out of the colonies goes to England, that they have preferential treatment, right? Adam Smith, from an economic standpoint, argues, yes, we can, we can remove our, our attachment from this one place that has a monopoly on our, on our economy, and we can deal with the entire world in a free, open market, right? And this is um, something that Adam Smith argues in a way that has really become the mantra of, of folks who would ident identify as libertarian. Adam Smith argues that the marketplace, the free market, people who, are mo people who participate in business, people who are motivated by personal interest, making money, making a profit, but the competition and the need to be successful as a business person in turn benefits society, right? People end up producing good products. This is, this is, this is the, the, the idea behind it. You don't have to agree with it. The, the idea that uh, there's this invisible hand, as Adam Smith refers it to it, and there is an invisible hand which governs uh, uh, the marketplace, basically. The marketplace is that the free exchange of goods and services naturally regulates the economy, is natural, self-regulating, but also uh, promotes a better society. You don't need the government to regulate it. You don't need England to regulate our trade. We should be able to go out and trade with whoever we want, right? So that's uh, important. The idea that 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 you know England is 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 well is a, the most powerful country in Europe, the most powerful navy, right? And trade is you is 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 across oceans and stuff at this point. Uh, the idea that no no we don't need that security. We 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 would benefit from being able to deal equally with everyone else on Earth. Having said that, once the uh, uh, Constitution is ratified and Washington becomes president, uh, the tariff is going to be a big element. The tariff, which is basically t regulating trade, taxing imported goods. And it is going to help build America and help lead to the Industrial Revolution. So, you know, there's, we've never really had a free market system in this country. Um, don't let anyone tell you that otherwise. So, 
the government's always had a hand on some level in regulating the economy.